You know, one really need not have bothered. It's not like we were having much trouble with these guys. Two criticals in a row. Yeah, pro tip, if three 11 year olds can get round your awesome defences of awesomeness, they probably need a bit of work. Wand waving gloves, I should actually remember to equip all this stuff. And again, uh, level again. Actually, what, level 40 by now? How is Ron? Well, how does he look? He can't, we can't stop now, there's nothing left here that can hurt him. Let's leave him. Right, okay, Ron, nice knowing you, etc. We'll probably be at your funeral, possibly, if it doesn't clash with the cricket. Right, off we go. Uh, level 41, marvellous. So, yeah. Have these gloves and these awesome boots. Room number four. A troll. Fortunately, a troll that's knocked out. Presumably by our evil villain. So that's a rather easy one, and we move past to room five. So, uh, time for a bit of a recap from Harry here. We've got past Sprout's challenge, we've got past Flitwick's challenge, we've got past McGonagall's challenge. And for those curious, we've got past Quirrell's challenge, yeah, well, with the troll and that. Which is a bit of a hint. So this is Snape's challenge, we have to do potion mixing. Maybe the potion gives protection from fire. That sentence would make a lot more sense if you could see the fire that we have to get past that is currently off screen. And there's fire blocking the path behind us as well. So yeah, time for the game's last minigame. Doopy doopy doop doop doop. So basically we have 12 chances to mix the potion. And um, we have to guess a combination of four. Basically it's... Um, it's another method of, it's another version of like a safe cracking mini game. So I guess we'll have a golden cauldron. Uh, whatever that is, I think that's asphodel root. And that and that, and see if that's correct. Right, so one of those was correct. So next we'll have a golden cauldron again. And we'll have different ingredients here. Not two of them correct there, so the Colden's probably correct. Let's see if the bicorn horn is correct. Oh, different ingredients here. Right, so it's not the bicorn horn that's correct, but I'm almost, I'm almost certain now that it's the Colden. So I'll have different ingredients here. Let's see if it was the snake fangs that were correct. Nothing was correct there. Okay, that, that, I admit that throws me a bit. So it can't be the cold one that's correct. So that means that bef between the first and the second choices, three items are correct, but none of them are in common, so to speak. So let's have what, a, a black cold one, whatever cold one that is. Hmm, yeah, odd. No, it can't be the Ashfordel route that's correct on the first one. Because we've kind of already established that the Golden Colden isn't correct. Which means on the second one there's two that are correct. And we know the Snake Fangs aren't correct. So it must be the Bicorn Horn and that purple plant thing. Which means that it must be this that's correct on the first one. Yes! So now we just need to find the correct Colden. That colder. Self stirring, maybe. I'm so awesome. Seven, seven hits. Again, not the most complex of mini games, but I think for the game's target market, that's pretty good. Nice little logic puzzle. Yeah, I approve of that. Okay, so of course, there's only enough potion for Harry, so we'll have to go on without the sterling aid of Hermione and Ronald. Good luck, Harry. You're a very great wizard. You've power level to level 41. You'll be fine. Right then, final showdown with definitely Snape. Dun dun dun! It's Quirrell! 
shock horror and plot twists etc um, general pictures of cats looking shocked and whatever else you have at times of this nature I'd hoped you'd find this place Potter I thought it would be Snape Harry com comments in an oddly offhand way isn't he Matt's bird? he always seems to hate me oh he does hated your father too when they went to Hogwarts together I saw you and Snape together since he wasn't after me Harry Potter Logic 101 he must have been onto you. Yes, he was. Too bad Fluffy didn't bite his leg off the first time he stopped me. But if he didn't threaten you, who did? That was my master. He has to threaten me sometimes. He is so strong and I am weak. He was here at Hogwarts with you? He is always with me. Here, these are for you. So Quirrell rather sensibly binds us up. You're far too nosy, Potter. I'll deal with you after I examine this interesting mirror. It wouldn't be more prudent to deal with him before. Okay. Obviously, this is the mirror of Erisa. This is the final test. This is what the mirror was for. Dumbledore's contribution to protecting the stone. It is the key to finding the Philosopher's Stone. I see the stone, but I don't understand. Is it inside the mirror? How does it work? Help me, Master. Yours, the boy. I am obviously evil because apparently I speak in all caps and my eyes glow. Yes. Come here, boy, and tell me what you see. Kind of a bit tied up at the... Oh, thank you. So we see Harry... Harry's reflection winks at him and pockets the Philosopher's Stone. And as he does so, the stone appears in our pocket. Uh, I see myself with the Quidditch Cup. But it has never been mentioned thus far in the game, but still. He lies. The stone is in his pocket. So, well, worth a try. So, boss battle with Professor Quirrell, who immediately casts a familiar trio at us and completely fails. You'd think that he'd, like, kill us instantly. There was certainly never this epic showdown in the book. Anyway, we're just going to poison him and see how it goes from there. How ironic that you are the one who cured the uh, curse and fucking hell. Okay, he can do a lot of damage. Vermilius Tria might possibly help a bit. Ah, okay, so Flipendo, when he uses it, is really strong against us. Any other spell he uses, piece of piss. Oop, Incendio's good against him. Right. And shit, he's poisoned us. Still, I have healing items and no NPC in this game does, so we should have the advantage here. Always the way in RPGs. Bugger, missed. Both take poison damage. And he uses what I think is Incendio Tria to fairly good effect. Come on, we can do this. Oh shit. Right, healing item. I'm just going to heal for a few rounds. It keeps resetting the music, it was actually rather nice. Ah, oh, fucking hell. Okay, I'm going to have to use. Actually, no. I want to save my Wigan Well potions for the actual final boss, because it's not this one, but... I might be able to do it, I don't know. Shit, he's poisoned us again. I don't know how much of a chance I'm taking here. Kind of counting on the poison to fit. Fuck it. Right, if this misses, we've lost. If it hits, we've won. Incendio duo now while he's on very little health. And so are we. Fuck yes! And we level up and we get another Grand Wigan World Potion. 
I will now take my turban off in a threatening manner. Apparently I've not taken my turban off the whole time I've been at Hogwarts, because no one's noticed I have a face coming out of the back of my skull. This, incidentally, is Lord Voldemort. Sorry if I've spoiled the massive plot twist, but it's kind of obvious. He has possessed Quirrell. See what I have become, unless someone lets me share their body. I have no substance, but once I make the elixir of life, I will be able to reach the caps lock button. I mean, I will create a new body of my own. So give me the stone or die as your parents did. Begging. Final boss fight, go. Liar! 